Hi everyone, today it's just a walk in the park. Since I've been doing the YouTube videos, I've realised there's so many more things around and near to me that I didn't know about. So here, which is I'm in Ely, my nearest ta um, town city actually, because it's got a cathedral and it's got a park and it's got loads of different walks to it. But this park is just down here. So I'm going to have a walk in the park. amazing there's still I feel as if I'm in the countryside but I'm not because you've still got noise going on in the background I'm right next to a rail, railway line because the train's just gone past but then you can be still feel as if you're in the middle of nowhere it's wonderful There's also a lot of bird noise. I don't know if they're crows or ravens or what's the black and white birds? Um, jackdaws? Not sure. The ones that take anything, which is sparkly. I think it jack. Oh, I can't remember. Ooh, bit of woodwork and features. Different. I'm not going over there though. It's a bit muddy. Follow me. <laughs> when I woke up this morning it was thick frost I think it's the first real frost we've had of the year and of course we've still got frost here on the on the ground but of course it's two three hours later than this morning and the sun's come out glorious blue skies and so so much of the frost has now disappeared apart from where you are in the at where it, the sun hasn't caught yet so there is still frost on the ground which is lovely Well, this is a country park and a park. There are other routes, which you can see behind me, which then go off trail, but because I'm in my, my boots with heels on today, I won't, I won't do that. I'll stick to the hard ground. But yeah, you can still see, well, the frost on the benches. Um, I'm not going, not going to go and sit on the, sit on the benches because they're, they're a bit cold. I'd rather just carry on walking and keep myself warm. But yeah, you can see the, see the frost. And then as I walk round, you can then actually see that it's still definitely a park because you've got all the kids play area. But let's go and have a look. Remember the bird magpie, that's the one who, which is the black and white one, which lights um, shiny things. This path has been really well thought out. There's lights dotted or in the pathway. And I've got another one here. So they light up at, at, um, during the darker um, evenings, which is lovely. When I, when I was a child, I just had swings. That was it. It's a pirate ship for adventure playgrounds. So much better. Oh. Morning. Morning. Cold day, isn't it? Is it ever? Hello, Pooch. Is it ever? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> oh. 
parks are definitely more planned out now for families and to do things together because um, here you've got play area but you've also got it surrounded with picnic area for people to sit down instead of um, just park benches dotted about the place. Really much better thought out. The sun is really low now though, because uh, we're in December of course, so now instead of the sun being really high, it's quite, quite low. So I'm glad I've got my hat on because that's really um, keeping my keeping my, um, the sun out of my eyes. I'm nice and warm because I've got my gloves on, but the camera person, has, um, their hands are turning blue at the moment because it really is very cold. Oh. So what else is there? Another area there. And then something further down here. That's a lovely big slide. I must admit, when I was younger, slides were never that big. They were something more like One's over there, much, much smaller. But yeah, nice big slide, slide to play on and, and the hill with its soft, soft edges as well, which is, of course, needs to be um, soft for, for the kids to play on. But I had another, another train go by. One thing about Ely, it's um, on the train lines. Um, it's one of those junction points, which then pushes people to, um, yeah, I'm trying to work it out. It's a junction where they do divert off to different areas. So you get to Ely, and then from Ely you then go over to East, uh, East Anglia, which um, is to Norwich and that that side of things. And then you go to Peterborough um, as well. And then, um, of course, going down south, you go down to, towards Cambridge, but also you then hit off towards... Um, just right, Stevenage, I think it is. There's so many different, just different um, junctions, um, just dif different areas and junctions it, it pulls off to, which is really nice. But I think, you'll correct me because you'll know this, but I think we're on the East Coast, I think, main line. So let's move on. Oh, I know what I haven't told you about. <laughs> you might think I sound a bit nasally. And it is. I've I've had a oh, I don't know ten days of a cold, which was a hacking cough, and another reason why I haven't I haven't, there hasn't been a video up for a while. But um, so I wasn't able to speak. But the cough's gone, the sore throat's gone. I've just got this nasally effect now left. So hopefully that will clear. But another reason why I came out because it's just a nice day and I can hopefully breathe some nice fresh air. So there we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah, but you need your walk as well, don't you? Yes, you yeah. do. <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> See you. All right then. Zip wire. Haven't <laughs> didn't have zip wire when I was a a youngster. Maybe I'll come back when it's uh, a bit warmer and I can possibly have a go. Don't know. <laughs> mm. The leaves have definitely all fallen from the trees now and um, autumn has gone and we are now into definitely winter time.
Now the trees have lost all of their leaves. You can now see the trees which have got the mistletoe in, which is lovely. Oh, it's a beautiful walk down, or view down there. Not in the right heels, or shoes, but that is glorious down there. It has real tunnel look. And then you can carry on with it there, or another way. <sighs> Morning. Morning. Come on. Oh. oh, as soon as you get out, the sun is so cold. <laughs> Well, you can tell that I'm still in Ely because you can see the ship of the Fens, the cathedral, just in the background. So yeah, so we're, we're out of the city or on the outskirts of the city, but you can still see it. And I've just been informed by a gentleman just, we've just walked past that this area, which is now just being worked on at the moment, is going to be um, for the, um, a new skateboard ramp. So they've gone from the children's play area to the adventure area and now they're um, thinking ahead for another generation of, of uh, age range. Oh. Oh. Mm. You know what, it's now getting too cold, I need to get head back. <laughs> I've got a hole in my gloves. Need to sort that out. <laughs> Need to do some sewing when I get home. Oh. Blue sky is disappearing fast. It's all grey up there. Blue sky behind me. Oh, possibly had the best of the day. hear the cathedral just chiming. Don't know what time it is though because I've lost track. But saying that there is a beautiful, beautiful um, view of the cathedral here. Absolutely lovely. lovely when you get just little glimpses and perfect views of things which you've never seen before. Well, another path heading off that way so there's many different routes you can take in this park but I'm more than happy just to, I've done my walk, I've got nice and warm and cold at the same time but I hope you've enjoyed my little stroll in the park and one quick mention Andy T thank you again for another lovely lovely gift um, which are pleather and they fit perfectly so thank you very much again and I'm going to head off and get something warm so I will hopefully see you next time. Take care.